so we are back in Sunset Valley for another renovation, a quick one. I'm calling it a quick one if the end result video is under 20 minutes. I'm guessing this one is going to be under 20 minutes. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to be. So it's not going to be the science rabbit hole building there because it's huge. Ooh, and there is a, a pond there. So now it's going to be the warehouse here, the criminal career rabbit hole. There is quite the, the big body of water there. Sorry, <laughs> getting distracted already. So, outstanding citizen warehouse cop. No visitors allowed. And 66 Sunnyside Boulevard, 40 by 36. Okay, so doesn't seem to be much except for that uh, big uh, rabbit hole building. Let's have a close look. It does look pretty neat among the trees like that, like the, uh, the brick look there. So it's at the end of, of a cul-de-sac, of a, of a dead end there, and quite enclosed actually. So it's fenced in somewhat, and there are a few holes. I've seen one that, yeah, here. And I like what they did with the fence, that, that they used different ones there, it's pretty cool. It goes with the, the whole derelict uh, look, that vibe. Broken windows everywhere. <laughs> All of them are broken, so I, I, I won't be able to do that, but maybe work around that. When, what I do with that type of build is that I cannot uh, really make them over because they are objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and recreate the same idea for the building with what's in the game because I'm not using store items nor uh, CC. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go with a... Oh, okay, that's the, the main entrance. Ooh. Oh, and there are cameras too. That's <laughs> a bit of a callback to the police station actually. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Projectors, okay. And there is a, a dumpster area. Neat. A few other stable plants too. Lettuce, okay. Um, ooh, I really like that. So an abandoned, uh, well, what looks like an abandoned uh, warehouse. Well, the lot is pretty big and ooh, I like the landscaping. I like that they did some sort of, as if cars would go there and park over there. I think I can do something, well, it won't be as pretty. <laughs> well, pretty, I don't know, if the word is pretty. As grunge and cool looking at the building. It's, it's pretty cool looking. I really like the sign. Uh, but I, I can try and do something with the same vibe. Oh, I really like that lamp. It's so cool. I wish we had that, that one. It's a very cool one. Maybe a bit a tad smaller. As I think it could be used inside too, but it's a very neat one and the door. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm going to try and have the same vibe here, but maybe the, have the building a bit more on that side and it won't be as tall. It's very tall. It's, it doesn't go with the, what we have, like a floor might stop over there, the first floor. And, and if I have them too tall, the windows are going to look small inside in the compared to the whole building so i can't do that yeah it won't be as tall but about that large a bit maybe a tad smaller and also i'm going to move it a bit on that side because i'm thinking that that area over there i'll try to have it look as if it's part of the wooded corner there so that there is a bit more of a demarcation line in between that building and the neighborhood here, the very residential neighborhood here. But yeah, I'm going to try and, and keep the idea of having that fence that is not that efficient. <laughs> so the, the sims can come over, over that lot through different parts of different corners uh, there. Uh, oh, I haven't said what I wanted to do with it. So I'm going to give it as the criminal hi hideout there, um, but with the rabbit hole rug. I've been thinking about it for a while, but I'm having it as a cat jungle too. So I'm going to try and decorate and have the inside to incorporate things cats 
can do to what the inside of a derelict warehouse look like and uh, also so include uh, i10 so that um, sims in the criminal career can use uh, those items these are the ideas for that lot let's see what we can do there so for this one i've I was a bit tempted to have the building a bit more, to work a bit more on the exterior and have some kind of a effect, depth uh, effect with the windows and have like a, a curved, um, you know, a, a freeze level that was a bit curved so that the, the top window would be a bit pushed back, like a bit farther back in, in, the, in the wall. But I didn't do that, <laughs> mostly because I wanted to, it's, it's a renovation, it's supposed to be a renovation, but since here I'm building the whole building, uh, and I wanted it to look at least a bit uh, like the original one, and the original building is not really, not exactly simple, but yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward, like it's not, no, no, no effect around the windows, uh, well, there is kind of a window sill there that I couldn't really do. Might have, uh, I should have maybe tried, but that would have been a bit too much with the, with the shelves, you know? Uh, I think that would have been a bit much. Also, the windows we have in game are... Uh, so these are the tallest ones, I think. And uh, yeah, they are not, definitely not as tall as the ones on the rabbit hole building so I've tried to work with what I had there um, though I could have I'm, I'm thinking I could have done a bit more there so that the, the building itself would be more interesting it's a bit large but then when I was working on the interior it was easier to work on the interior in the with the interior what I had in mind for the inside of that warehouse that is not really a warehouse, it's more like a factory, well, an abandoned factory or a plant. Because I'm here I'm doing like conveyor belts, you know, uh, well, I'm trying to. Um, the idea being that, that uh, there is mach machinery there that has been left there because it's, a, it's an, an old factory or warehouse and so they, they didn't know what to do with that so they left that there and it has been it's now used by cats and also seems uh, because I've done one where there is the, the firewalk uh, you know the the fire uh, walkway how, how is it called that the thing from Island Paradise I've placed one there too so yeah I've tried to place different items for the cats uh, around that uh, big piece of machinery uh, that is in the front of the, of the room and to have put that big castle and tried to hide it inside it uh, so that it's usable. I've playtested with, uh, with, uh, with uh, a couple of cats and they, they used it. Also put a few more other items here and there. Try to have them kind of blend blend in with the to blend them in with the with the whole warehouse uh, old factory uh, parts. But some of them are more apparent than other. So um, I think I've play tested most of them, um, but. There might be one or two items that are not well, you know, placed well enough so that they can be used. But you can move them around you know, these ones because I've just played them afterward, like the that big fish object <laughs> where cats can hide in inside it. I've placed two, I think. So I'm not sure if they are usable. I haven't, I haven't uh, tried to have a cat hide in, in, in them. So here I'm doing um, the fireplace area where I'm thinking that might have been, I have no idea what that plant, uh, that factory was for, 
what, what I teach, used to produce, <laughs> but mostly I've put a conveyor belt and then uh, uh, there is a, a big fireplace so that could be a foundry, I guess. <laughs> And there is also a conveyor belt in front of it with the, the firewalk uh, walkway, the, the firewalk path there. And so, as I've said, in the basement, there is a basement, and so in that basement, I've, I've um, put objects for the criminal career if you're playing with an um, open career. So, and that's where I got the idea for the walk, firewalk, actually because I think it's in the list of objects they can use to improve the, the sims in the criminal career. It's uh, the type of object they can use to improve um, their skills and their level uh, in the criminal career. Also, uh, to gym, gym equipment. And I removed the, that old car here because it, no, uh, no use for it. Oh yeah, I've put a, an elevator. So it only goes to the basement, from the ground floor to the basement, um, because I was thinking that they needed uh, something to to lift, uh, to haul um, big objects. So again, no idea what that factory was <laughs> was for, <laughs> but I was thinking that yeah, I'm sure they they. Need, they needed to have um, big uh, items move from one floor to the other. So that was the idea there. Um, also, I had so the whiteboard. Oh, a couple of uh, movie stuff items that took from the movie stuff bags needed. And also a diesel, at least the lamp there. A, a bookshelf with uh, skill books there. And I've put a trampoline on the on the roof because again they can use that. Also, when doing the, the landscaping, I remembered that cats can fish uh, from a pond, so I, I added a sp small pond there on, on the lot. Um, at first, I wanted to have it a bit more industrial, but it was taking too long, so it's a basic one. <laughs> it's uh, oh, yeah, the dumpster area uh, moved from the back of the building to the front of the building. There, I've seen more logical, and then where it used to be, it's where I had that, that, that small uh, pond there. I uh, played a bit more with the fence. Uh, did the, the, the tire marks there. Also it might have been the first lot in Sunset Valley where I've used the, that bush uh, from University Life, that, that yellow, I think it's in the, the, the tree category actually, but that yellow one, sort, sort of a thorny uh, bush, um, so doing the pond there. And I've uh, yeah I've put a spawner, but I think they, they don't they don't fish the the fish from that spawner. I I don't remember exactly what they do. I haven't played with a cat in a while in the, in the Sims, uh, so I'm not sure. I think they might uh, fish any type of a, of a fish from a. A pond, but I, I'm not sure. Don't, I don't remember exactly. So the one I've put there, I think it's the sewage one or something like. Try a bit bits. Another thing I've added also is uh, the dog house because uh, for the cats to to woohoo. Uh, so I don't think they can. Oh, they might be able to do it in the, the cat castle. I don't know, I'm not sure. But anyway, so I've put one and I've hidden it a bit in, in the building so that it's not, because it looks a bit weird there. So I've hidden it a bit in, the, in one of those corners, you know, that, um, that looked like a bit like a tower. And uh, it's, it, I think there, there is footage of that uh, at the end there. Also, I did a few more attempts to that hat that more industrial vibe to it, so the uh, ducts uh, were actually not that easy to place because there's that, that part 
la, since the, I've used constraint floor elevation, the floor, the top floor was not even. So I had some difficulty there, but oh, also I did a couple of foggy mirrors and to have uh, rats. You know, that's the special effect, <laughs> rats. <laughs> So here is the result. See, again, it's not as cool looking <laughs> as the original one. I kept thinking of items I could have used, CC items uh, from Cyclone 2 or Sandy that I could have used there. <laughs> oh, so I might go back to it once I'm playing with CC again. Um, or I might try to do other things with um, without CC, you know, just to, to see where if I can work a bit more on the architecture there, but yeah, uh, I think it still looks a bit somewhat like the original one, and it's now a, a functional building, so like, the Sims can can actually play the career in that in there and have the, the, the pet cats or stray cats, why not, um, in the building use the building. So the rooftop, I've placed a few items there for the, the criminal career. I don't think I've, oops, one thing on, on the trampoline. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think that the cats can get up there, mostly because it's uh, the, the only access is uh, through um, via a ladder. So yeah, they shouldn't be able to get there. So I haven't put anything there for them. Then inside the warehouse, uh, there is the, the that big jungle gym for, for the cats. Uh, Semi-hidden there, but it's usable. Uh, I've put chessboards in, inside tables. <laughs> they are usable too. It's kind of the monitoring desk for, for, for the conveyor belt, the pretend conveyor belt there. And then the firewalk pit here. Oh, there are also um, uh, art kits, you know, so that they can uh, do street art on, on, on the walls there. A few uh, uh, games for the toys for the, for the cats are disseminated a bit everywhere on that floor. And there are a few more in the, in the basement, but the basement is mostly for the criminal career and the Oh, the rug was upstairs on, on the on the ground floor, and so here it was, it's more for to improve their their skills in the criminal career, there, or just to hang out. So overview of the lot here. I've tried to keep the same ideas for the for the landscaping with the dumpster area is now there, here is the pond and the dog shed is actually hidden over there on that side of the building. I've put level skip markers in the building, so there are only two, three levels. So here is the access to the rooftop with the trampoline, uh, there is a juice cake from university, a few seating areas and there is a telescope too. And then the level under it. It's the, the, the whole interior of the of the factory. So there is an accent there and another accent here. That toilet's here. I think it's all in one bathroom there in this one. It's a um, playground for, for cats here and the rabbit hole rug for uh, the criminal career. Then there is a staircase there and a an elevator over there, so both lead to the basement where there are a few more things to do. There, there's a podium, there is a um, whiteboard, bookcases, well, things for to improve in the criminal career. <laughs> weird to say that, it's very weird to say that. <laughs> so, that was another quick one. Next one. Well, I don't know yet. I don't know which one it's going to be. We'll see. I'll see you then. A bientôt!